The massive winter storm churning across the United States has left at least one person dead, knocked out power for hundreds of thousands of people, and cut off travel around the nation. Grand Rapids officials say a volunteer firefighter there fatally came into contact with a live power line knocked down by ice in the city suburbs. The National Weather Service says a broad swath of the U.S. from Washington State to New England is under advisories. With another 18 inches of snow and wind chills equal to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, thousands of flights are either delayed or canceled, and roads are left impassable or treacherous to drivers. Residents in storm-struck areas have been warned against any road travel. The storm has also cut power for some 900,000 homes and businesses in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, New York, and Wisconsin, according to the data aggregator PowerOutage.us. The Minneapolis school system is holding remote classes for tens of thousands of students for the rest of the week. A separate storm system has spawned uncommon winter weather in California, with rarely seen snow flurries in San Francisco and blizzard conditions expected at high elevations in the state, even in Los Angeles. The disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein was sentenced on Thursday by a court in Los Angeles to 16 more years in jail for rape. The 70-year-old is already serving a 23-year prison term for a separate conviction in New York. Before Thursday's sentencing, Weinstein, seated in a wheelchair, professed his innocence and implored the judge to grant him mercy. The charges stem from an assault on a former model and actress at a Los Angeles hotel in 2013. Identified in court as Jane Doe One, the victim cried as she said she'd been a very happy and confident woman until Weinstein raped her. She said, I lost my identity. I thought for sure that no one could love me. I was heartbroken, empty and alone. Weinstein insisted he did not know Jane Doe One and argued that she had fabricated her account for money. The Los Angeles jury acquitted Weinstein of charges relating to a second alleged victim and failed to reach a unanimous verdict on charges arising from two other accusers. Defense attorneys argued that the woman willingly had sex with Weinstein because they believed he would advance their careers. In two of the cases, they said the alleged sexual contact was fabricated. Thursday's sentencing increases the chances that Weinstein will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Health workers in Cambodia disinfected a home in the country's south on Thursday after a girl who lived there died from so-called bird flu. It's the Southeast Asian nation's first known human infection of the H5N1 avian influenza since 2014, according to its Minister of Health in a statement. It said the 11-year-old from Preveng province was diagnosed with bird flu after falling sick with a high fever and cough on February 16, and that her condition worsened before she died on Wednesday. On Friday, authorities announced the girl's father had tested positive for H5N1 but was showing no symptoms. They were also testing others who had been in contact with the girl and warning Cambodians not to handle dead or sick animals and birds. Avian flu has ravaged farms around the world over the past year or so. It's led to the deaths of more than 200 million birds from either the disease or mass culls, the World Organization for Animal Health told Reuters mid-February. A spillover to mammals has sparked more concern among experts recently, with hundreds of sea lions killed by bird flu across Peru since mid-January. The World Health Organization earlier this month noted the spread of H5N1 influenza to mammals, but said the risk to humans remained low.